Protests across the country and here at home have woken a new generation of activism fighting for racial equality. Millennials and Gen Z now taking to the streets as part of a worldwide movement. Tonight, we sit down with a few young people to learn why they are the voices of tomorrow. Grace, Danny, and Alyssa come from very different backgrounds. Grace is Nigerian, Danny is mixed race, and Alyssa is white. But one thing they all agree on lately is that change is needed in our nation. If you don't stand up for something, you fall for anything. I'm sticking up for what's right. There's a need for a change. With the Black Lives Matter protests sparking a conversation across the globe, these youthful activists are taking on a movement bigger than themselves. I feel like I should step out there and speak. Grace Mazrui, originally from Nigeria, came to the U.S. at the age of six. Now, you may recall, we met the 16-year-old at the Black Lives Matter protests in the town of Dickinson. It's, like, good for me to come here, support my people, because kids in my class say the N-word. Grace says she reads about racism in her history books at her high school, but was surprised to see it occur right in her own classroom. Why should we have to fight for our freedom? Why is our skin color a threat? Like, we've been fighting and fighting, and we're not getting heard. So... It's surprising because it's still going on and it's not going to stop. The same goes for Danny Quinones. He says he has been on edge ever since he had an encounter with police at 16, in which an officer put him in handcuffs after assuming he was a suspect with a warrant. It really, it really hurt me the most because I live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other, everyone knows me. People in my community view me as a good kid, you know, and... There were all my neighbors were out on the porch. I was in handcuffs for at least 25 minutes. While he understands not every police officer has bad intentions, he says that one incident shaped his relationship with law enforcement. There are good cops. They're not all bad cops. I, I look at it this way. When you get bit by a poisonous snake, you're going to take the necessary precautions to make sure you don't get bit again, whether the snake is poisonous or not. You're not going to want to encounter another snake. These personal experiences driving their passion to join the protests and listen to others, which is what Alyssa Manwaring says is her duty to do as well. There's things that go under, on underneath the surface that we don't even think about that we need to recognize and it's time it's to listen to each other. Each of them with a different reason to be a part of the movement, but all three with the same goal. To create a platform for the generations to come. We are a voice of the next generation that comes after us, that comes after our kids. You can learn from a children, from, from a kid. I just feel like until people are willing to learn from each other as a whole, black, white, whatever the race may be, then there, there really won't be any change. Now we also learn Grace's grandfather Ali Mazrui was a political scholar from Kenya who partnered with people such as Martin Luther King Jr. to fight segregation. Now Grace says her grandfather inspires her to be a voice for her own generation. And we have more information on Mazrui on our website. That's WPNG.com.